If you own a Mini 5 Pro and you want to take your aerial footage to the next level, today I'm diving into filters, specifically the Freewell filter packs. I'll compare the All Day Pack, the Bright Day Pack and the Everyday Pack and I'll explain when, why you should use each of them. Let's do this. So hello and welcome once again to the channel and if you've already bought the Mini 5 Pro with the Flymore Combo you would have received a set of filters that DJI supply with the Mini 5 Pro. That's these bad boys just here. However, <clears throat> Freewell have gone one step further. Now as you know, Freewell are renowned for making top quality gear out of top quality materials. Without filters, the Mini 5 Pro often overexposes bright scenes, especially on sunny days, and you miss out on smooth cinematic motion blur because shutter speeds get too high. ND and polarizing filters let you control exposure, reduce glare on reflections, enhance color and contrast, giving your videos more of a professional film-like look. The Ordei Pack ND filters they range from ND16 right up to ND1000, giving you extremes from slightly sunny to extreme bright days. When would you use them? On sunny bright days, as I've just said, when there's too much light for the camera. Beaches, snow, wide open landscapes. When you want full control over exposure and to follow the 180 degree shutter rule, shutter speed being double your frame rate for cinematic motion blur. Also useful for creating long exposure effects, e.g. flowing water, clouds, when paired with the low shutter. The pros of these are great flexibility across the lighting conditions, reliable, simple ND. No extra polarisation, just clean exposure control. The cons, however, doesn't reduce the glare and reflections or boost saturation. In scenes where water, glass or reflective surfaces, you might get shimmer or washed out reflections. The Bright Day Pack, what's inside? The Bright Day Pack offers ND stroke PL filters from ND8 PL right up to ND256. What does that mean? Each filter reduces light and polarizes so you get neutral density and glare reflection reduction in one filter. When would you use them? On sunny days with reflective surfaces. Think about water, buildings with windows, wet ground or coastal urban scenes. When you want richer colours, high contrast, polarisation helps boost saturation and make skies deeper, water clearer and overall video more vivid. When you still need exposure control but also want natural, professional looking reflection colours. The pros combines exposure control and polarisation. So they're very versatile for landscape, water, uh, reflective scenes, etc. Better colour contrast and less glare. The cons are because of the polarizer. In some conditions, you may need to rotate the filter to get the right effect. Depends on reflection angle and it may be overkill for non-reflective, low glare scenes where simple ND is just enough. The everyday pack for the Mini 5 Pro contains a set of four filters, UV, CPL, LPR, and the glow mist filter. UV, as you're probably aware, helps reduce haze, but it also protects your lens. Good outdoor shooting, even in daylight. The CPL is just a pure polarizer, good for reducing reflections and boosting color, contrast in photos or video, especially for landscapes. The LPR filter is useful for night or twilight shots in urban areas, helping to reduce the glare from city lights, giving cleaner shots. The glow mist filter adds a soft glow or dreamy cinematic diffusion. Great for creating shots, cityscapes, sunsets, or cinematic atmospheres. When would you use them? Well, daily flying, when the lighting is variable, or you just want to protect like using the UV filters as I do on all my drones. I use a UV filter to help protect the lens. Fitting the filters on the Mini 5 Pro is fairly straightforward. You just need to line them up and press firmly and listen for a click. To remove them, pull up from either the top or the bottom. 
Each kit comes with its own cleaning cloth to keep the filters clean from dust and obviously finger marks when fitting the filters. Now lots of people ask how do you select the right filter? Sometimes it can be a little trial and error. However, with Drone Companion, the latest software that's available, you get an ND calculator which helps you select the right filter every time. Let's just dive into Drone Companion and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So moving over to Drone Companion, as you can see, this is the web version. This is available on uh, your smartphones as well. And you can see exactly what you get with Drone Companion and it's worth its weight in gold, it really is. You've got a weather uh, calculator and the ND calculator that I've just spoke about, this is the one that we're gonna look at. So all we do is click into here, ask you what model of the drone that you're flying. As you can see, it covers virtually most of the DJI uh, drones. We want the Mini 5 Pro, um, standard uh, 30 frames a second, that's what I shoot in. And you can select what kind of day it is. So we're gonna select a bright sunny day. And as you can see just here, it's recommending an ND64 to an ND128. That will give you a shutter speed of 1 over 60 uh, at 30 frames per second. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And it gives you a little bit of technical advice telling you what, what kind of filter that you can use as well. So it really is that simple. And if we go to the overcast cloud today, for instance, you can see it's reducing the ND filter down just here from an ND32 to 64. So it gives you a, a base as to what filter to select. Uh, just show uh, on golden hour, for instance, it's reduced it even more look down to ND16. And then obviously if you want to change your frame rate, all you do there is you go up to uh, 25, for instance, uh, and select your different lighting conditions. And as you can see, it tells you, you there's no need for an ND filter. So it really is a, a, an extremely handy piece of kit. So in summary, if you want a simple, reliable exposure control, go for the all day pack. If you often shoot landscapes with water glare and want rich colors, bright day is an excellent choice. If you value flexibility and shoot different environments, day, night, and creative, the everyday pack is a solid addition or even a primary kit for general use. So there we go, that's the filters from Freewell. Now I've had these filters for most of my drones and I find them extremely good quality. I've left links down in the description if you want to check these filters out. The choice is yours, obviously. There's also a non-affiliated link to Drone Companion if you fancy taking a look at that. It really is a great platform which gives you up-to-date weather info and much, much more. You can use it on your phone, you can use it on your laptop, you can plan your trips in advance. So there we go. That, that, that's the filters, that's the video. I hope you found the video useful and informative. And if you have, don't forget, give us the old thumbs up. And if you're new around here, why don't you consider subscribing, ding in the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it. I'm sure you know me by now. And I'd like to thank Freewell for sending the filters along for you guys to take a look at. And you might like to watch those couple of videos over there as well uh, that I've chosen for you. And if you do, I shall see you over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.